Hi everyone, this is Virin from Informatica and today we are going to do a walkthrough on what happens when you register for an on-demand course from Informatica and I will be discussing about the content of the on-demand registration emails received from Informatica, how can we start and stop the VMs and the threshold email. Let's quickly go ahead and look at the email that we received when we registered for Power Center Developer Lab only for 40 hours. And this is the subject line. This lab says, this email uh, says that this lab is available for 40 hours or 90 days of access, whichever comes first. Uh, so if you require any additional lab time, please do contact training at informatica.com. And also note that there are no extensions possible for this lab once it expires, so there is no way to recover this image. Please make sure to contact training at informatica.com for any extensions before the 40 hours of the lab time. And this section of the email shows how we can start and stop the environment and how we can suspend the environment. Uh, when we say suspend, how we can stop the environment. And uh, it also gives us uh, the VM login credentials. Uh, it's blank in this email, but you would be receiving if you register for a course. And uh, in the below, you see there are various additional uh, quick links, help links and uh, this will help you connect with Informatica on for various issues or any assistance. Let's go ahead and quickly uh, access our lab environment. Uh, a page opens up and uh, you can see the name of the course here, your name, and I see that the VM is currently stopped. You can start and stop the VMs from right top corner and on the below as shown here. And uh, you have two services. You can connect to the VM via RDP and via console. Uh, Informatica recommends that you connect uh, to the VM using RDP. But let's uh, go ahead and quickly start the VM. And uh, please do wait for five minutes once you click on the start button for the VM to come up. As the VM is up now, uh, it shows you that it's stopping in 89 days, uh, but uh, uh, it also does calculate the uh, hours used when you're using the lab. So make please make sure that when you're not using the VM, you shut down the VM. Uh, and right now, let's go ahead and connect the VM via console. Uh, it opens up a different page and uh, it's connecting to the VM. On right top corner, you can see that there are four options. Uh, this one is the diagnostic test. This test the browser's compatibility uh, with the VM connection. Let's go ahead and run the test. Uh, you can see that the HTML5 support WebSocket connection test uh, is a pass. And uh, we also see that the internet connection is a pass. And the other three options are uh, uh, pretty simple. This is uh, something where you can uh, use to paste any text from your machine to this VM. And this is the control all delete option. And this is the on-screen keyboard. Uh, as you can see, the VM is connecting now. So we'll log in to administrator. Uh, the credentials are provided in the email. And you can use that credentials to log into the VM. So we are connected to the VM using console mode. Uh, let's go ahead and close this and try connecting to the VM via RDP. And as you click on this, uh, uh, you get an option to either save the connection or open this connection directly. Uh, but if you're working on this VM uh, multiple times, I would recommend you save the connection and you can connect through that every time you want to uh, RDP to the VM. So I'm trying to connect. It's initiating remote connection. So I'm going to log in as administrator. So uh, as you can see that we have connected uh, to the VM via RDP. Let's go ahead and close this. Okay. And uh, let's stop the VM. Just click on stop and uh, it, it does go ahead and stop the VM. Also, you would receive uh, a threshold limit email from Informatica if you have used 75% of the lap time. And uh, 
this is the kind of email that you would get from Informatica saying that the 75% of the lab time has been used and the remaining lab hours are 10 10 and uh, we've used uh, 30 hours of the lab so these are the contents of the email that you would receive from Informatica alright guys that's it from me thanks for watching and hope you all have a great day